Alright, it's uh, vlog number 5. Um, first I want to start off with a couple of deals that are happening this week. Uh, one interesting deal I saw was over at Best Buy. Uh, they're promoting, well, it's it's a pre-order card, but uh, it's you don't really have to pre-order it. I mean, basically, uh, over at Best Buy, they have these uh, film cell of uh, episode 3 it's on a card so um, they said it's a deposit for for the blu-ray edition of Star Wars but you could just pay the five bucks and get a film sale of uh, from episode 3 that's kinda interesting um, the one I got it's uh, it's of uh, episode 3 where Anakin and Obi-Wan fighting in that lava area so you just basically see a silhouette of the two of them fighting that's all. That's kind of interesting. Uh, only five bucks, so why not? And then over at Toys R Us, if you're buying, uh, if you plan on buying a Madden 12, you could head over to Toys R Us and then uh, get a get a uh, McFarlane uh, football figure for free. Because uh, I guess uh, the deal is, uh, if you buy the game, you get a figure for free. So that's kind of cool too. If you're interested in buying Madden 12. Next thing I want to talk about is uh, uh, Hot Toys. Uh, over at SciShow, they released the price for the 89 Batman, Michael Keaton, and the Jack Nicholson Joker. Uh, the prices are a bit high. The Batman is 240 the MSRP, and then the Joker is 265 uh, Before, when they did the Dark Knight, Batman, the DX Batman and the DX Joker, the Heath Ledger one, uh, they were both under two hundred dollars each. But now they won two forty for the Batman and two sixty five for the Joker. That seems a bit high. I mean, accessory wise, they're not a whole lot, uh, a whole lot more than what I could see. I mean, Heath Ledger comes with a second head and a full suit and so basically all you need to do is buy an extra body and you could uh, build another figure out of that but with the with the uh, Jack Nicholson Joker you can't it's just a whole bunch of accessories with the coat which I don't think it's worth 265 though then uh, the Batman it comes with uh, three separate mouthpieces I mean the same as the Dark Knight one and also got that uh, moving eye thing, but uh, yeah, 240 that seems a bit high though, to me at least. Alright, next thing I want to talk about is uh, a couple of questions I got from uh, people. Uh, first one is from uh, Admiral619, I believe. He asked me, What's my favorite NECA Predator figure? Uh, currently, the ones they release, I would have to say, uh, Valkyner and the uh, classic uh, Predator with the mask on. Those two are my favorite, and uh, uh, they're neck and neck actually. Because um, the only reason I did I didn't put uh, the the classic uh, Predator as my number one is because of the mask is not removable. Basically what they did was that the mask is actually sculpted with the head, so it's a it's a one single piece. That I didn't like, because I would rather have a mask that I could take off if I wanted to. Because uh, uh, with the Valkyner, uh, I could take off the mask if I wanted to. It's just glued on, but there's no face underneath it, but that's fine with me. I kind of like the mask itself. That's why I like the Valkyner so much. Then another question I got is from uh, Christopher Walken zero one. He asked me, uh, uh, "What music do I listen to?" Uh, I listen to a lot of stuff, a lot of crap. Uh, Lonely Island, uh, I like them a lot. And then uh, Palette Swap Ninja, I like them too. Um, uh, a lot of soundtracks, I like those. Uh, just any, any. Well, I like I like Green Day a lot too, and uh, Offspring. Those are the ones I really like. 
And then uh, sometimes when I just hear a certain song, I'll just get those those ones and uh, not the whole album though. So it's uh, quite a lot of variety I listen to. Uh -oh. And uh, okay, what's next? Um, oh, um, I saw a couple of people uh, started getting those uh, new Halo stuff, the Halo uh, Combat Evolved uh, Anniversary Edition, whatever you want to call it, the Anniversary Edition uh, figures uh, from McFarland Toys. Uh, a couple of people already reviewed them, and. Uh, they aren't the advanced wave, they're the regular wave, so uh, a couple of reviews that I've seen are uh, Master Chief, the Halo 1 Master Chief, the low polygon one, uh, you can check out a review uh, from Halo Reach Reviewer. He has that reviewed and also the Dutch, uh, the ODST Dutch character reviewed as well too, so you can check out those two reviews from him and also Mega Luigi 33 I believe also reviewed Dutch as well so go check out those uh, reviews then uh, something that happened to me this past week uh, I went to IndyCar Racing uh, Friday and Saturday Friday was for the practice and then Saturday was for qualifying took lots of photos, uh, lots of videos, and uh, also got autographs from every driver every driver uh, out there that are racing that weekend, so and the uh, things that I reviewed this past week, I didn't review a whole lot of stuff I reviewed the NECA Mask Predator the Young Justice uh, Superboy and the NECA Fred Krueger uh, the reason I got the Fred Cougar was because uh, I wanted to build the Call of the Dead cast from uh, Black Ops. And uh, currently I have a Machete, uh, Danny Trejo. And then I also picked up uh, Sarah Michelle Geller from Buffy. So I have three of the three of the four main casts already. Uh, the only one I'm missing is uh, Michael Roker. Uh, since McFarlane is, uh, McFarlane is uh, releasing uh, what is that? Walking Dead. I'm hoping that they'll eventually release a figure of Michael Roker. Then I'll buy a couple of zombies and then create my own little diorama, which I will build after I review all three of those uh, figures. Well, I already reviewed Fred Krueger. So after Danny Trejo and uh, Sir Michelle Geller, I'm going to start building the diorama. And uh, once I'm done, I'll definitely give you guys a look. And uh, I believe that's a, that's it for this week's uh, vlog. Trying to keep it short. Uh, don't wanna don't wanna drag this thing on and on. So there you go. If you guys have any questions or comments, uh, you're welcome to PM me or comment down below. And uh, thanks for watching.